it's interesting as we start to look at coveting, uh, coveting is a bit harder to identify because it's actually a sin in your heart. How, do, how does somebody know if I'm coveting uh, their belongings? You know, it's, coveting is an improper desire to have something of my neighbor. Coveting is a desire that if actioned would lead to sin. And actually, the details that are given here in this commandment are actually quite important. You know, the only way that I can uh, desire and covet my neighbor's wife is to engage in sinful lust. And therefore, the Tenth Commandment actually prohibits sinful desires. So here's a few examples. Uh, You know, wanting an ice cream cone. Uh, I wouldn't mind an ice cream cone right now. You know, wanting an ice cream cone. It's a desire that's not necessarily sinful. But imagining robbing Mr. Whippy to get an ice cream cone, well, that is sinful. I think that's what it means to covet. You know, wanting uh, appreciation from your family, that's a good desire. But wishing your oh-so-perfect sister would lose her high-powered job so that you'd look better in mom and dad's eyes, well, that's sinful. That's what it means to covet. Coveting is the sin of envying and grieving at the good of our neighbor. The Ten Commandments focuses on our desires, the desires of our hearts, as they relate to contentment. And what God is saying here is that in His community, we need to be content. Content with what He's provided for each of us. Content that that's enough. Because actually God is in charge, and He is good all of the time. Therefore, we're called not to covet, not to desire things in a sinful way. 